You. I see you looking at me. A little birdie has told me that you're not subscribed yet. And, you know, it's the start of the episode. And I think that would be a nice little thing for you to do for me. Go on, hit that subscribe button. I can wait. Okay, and welcome to episode 4. On the Channel 64 server, we are back with another episode, and we are... <laughs> you, we've got some fun stuff to do this episode, and let me tell you, this is going to be a lot of work, and uh, yeah, a lot of digging, and mining, and crafting, and all that fun. So, first things first, my armour is still diamond. And it's pretty terrible diamond armor. So, we are gonna change that. We are gonna go netherite mining, first of all. The traditional way, I am just going to strip mine because that is the easiest thing to do. And see how much ancient breed we can get. I'm gonna go for an hour and see how much we get. And then I will come right back. Well, it wasn't quite as good as I was hoping. We got 19 ancient debris in an hour, so I have managed to upgrade a few bits of gear, but not everything. So I have done my legs, my boots, my sword, and my silk touch pickaxe, because that is what we use mostly. We are still very undergeared um, in terms of enchantments. The boots just have feather falling four on, no depth strider, no protection. Um, the legs are good. The legs are good. We got Swift Sneak 3, which is cool. And I love it. Um, and I actually changed to a gold helmet because I was just getting attacked by piglins all the time. And it's really frustrating. And I hate it. They are evil. Evil, evil creatures. So, we actually need to work on some enchanting. I lost my axe in the nether, which is silly. So, I have a rubbish axe at the moment. Um, uh, yeah. So we're going to go do a little bit of enchanting and work on the base a bit more. Excuse me. I heard that. I heard that. Ah, okay. Not friendly. Not friendly. Is it just... Ow. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, we need... We need... Yes, you shoot. You shoot the leader. Shoot the leader. Shoot. Ah, ow. Oh my goodness, I need to eat. The menace! Ow! 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 <laughs> no, shoot the leader! Come on! And they're gonna kill me! Oh my good lord. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> um, why are there so many? Right, oh, away you go. That's enough. Me. Right, and there's one more. Down you go. Oh. Well, you know, I... I am not very impressed. These raiders keep entering. <laughs> no water. And it is time we got some help. I'm going to put something on the notice board. And hopefully we'll get someone that can protect no water. From these insane pillagers. They're just everywhere. All the time. It's no fun. I do not like it. No. Now I have got very carried away. Um, as you saw, probably saw in the last clip. I was building a tree at the back of my base. And if you remember from episode 2. That was the plan from the start. Was to have this tree built. Springing up out the back of the base. That is why the inside is all overgrown. Um, but yeah, so we've got here some mangrove roots with some dark oak, some spruce, you know, filling it up. And this is meant to be like a giant willow tree. 
Um, I think I could probably work on the shape a little bit more. If we fly up here, it, it looks pretty good. Um, but there's like a few humpy bits that look a bit, bit odd to me. Um, I did build this in creative first and it was really hard to recreate it actually in survival. It's not a fun job, let me tell you. But yeah, I love this. It brings a little bit more life to the base. We can jump up here and climb up top. And I think, yeah, it's fantastic. It's, it just needs a bit more love across the top and along maybe the side here. But we're not going to see it too much from this angle. And I also <laughs> built this little building here today uh, just because... My plan is to make this area, this isn't, this isn't going to be a shop because the shopping area is moving. We are moving over there. Peepop and Terek have been busy. Um, but I just wanted to add a few more buildings to build this area up a little bit. So we have got a little building here and I have built or, or plotted out a space for two more buildings along this road here. And I think that would be cool. We can have a little... Oasis garden any bit in this corner here leading up the path and I think it'll just fill this area out a little bit more make it look more alive and uh, Yeah, no water is gonna start looking really good really really good and I can't wait. I can't wait, but We need To call him back up. We need help with this pillager problem Town is dangerous. It is too dangerous and you know it can't carry on for much longer so we'll go over to the notice board that our beloved friend Jess has set up for us and, uh, and see what we can do. No water notice board. Right, there's some books in here. Let's write a note on the notice board and see if anyone can help. Dear residents of No Water, recently we have been getting quite a few visitors to our lovely town. Unfortunately, these visitors have chosen violence, and I have come close to losing my life on more than one occasion. It's time to call in backup. No water, needs a sheriff. Suitable candidates should be scouted for ASAP. Right, I am just going to pop this book right here, and hopefully some of the other Channel 64 members are going to see this and start their search for a sheriff. We are desperately in need of one. I have made a big mistake in my base location. My main base location, which is the Mushroom Island. It, it, it's not big enough. It is, it is tiny. It's really tiny. Um, I need to find a bigger Mushroom Island and I have a feeling there's one close by because I remember scouting for Mushroom Islands uh, before we started where we were looking at the seed and I think there is one this way so we're gonna fly this way and see if we can find that mushroom island I'm hoping it's not too far away I'm hoping it's not too big we don't want one that's too big but we want one that's you know big enough um, is this it? no this is more mangrove swamp That is Shattered Savannah. What's that? Oh, Ruin Portal. I think it's out this way. Come on, I believe in myself and my memory. Aha! Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is... Ah, that, I was just gonna say, this is not big enough. <laughs> is this too big? No, I don't think it is actually. I think this is going to be perfect. I can keep this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So we could, in theory, just have this section over here. We could just have this section here. This might work. This might do us. This might do us. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
cool. Okay. Shall we put down what I've been designing in Creative and see if it fits? I mean, it's big. It is big. Yeah, let's do that and see if we can make this area work. Uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of work to convert this into uh, something other than a mushroom island, but yeah, it's, at least it's a good size. So this is what I have been designing in Creative. It is ginormous. But I love it so much. So this is going to be the start of the Atlantean Temple. Um, as you can see from the big giant A. Hey? A? A? Oh, I'm in free camp. Ah. Um, oh, I'm here. I'm here. A? Hey? Oh. Oh, hello. Um. But this is only one layer of the temple. We are going to have another layer on top and then a big roof, which I haven't designed yet. Uh, <laughs> this is what I've done so far, and it's enormous already. But yeah, it just did not fit on the other island. And this island looks like it's going to be a pretty good size for what I want to do. We may end up having to sneak onto this island. We might do. But look at this. It's going to be... Ginormous. I need to center it a bit more. We're going to big, have a nice big pathway leading up to the center. Oh, I can't wait to start building this. And yes, it's got Skulk in it. For the floor. Skulk for the floor. Pure madness, I say. Pure madness. But let's go see what this wandering trader has. And then get back to what we were doing this episode. Building some more stuff in no water. Now we are back at No Water and uh, it is raining again. It, uh, it has rained so many times today while I've been recording. It's <laughs> unreal. But we are back at No Water. So that means we are going to build the last two shops. Well, they're not really shops. They're fake shops for this area today. And this will be my little street. All complete. Looking lovely. You know, there'll be a... It needs to be something, a fence or something back here to stop people from, you know, strolling off the edge. But uh, this is looking great and I love this little town area street thing we've got going on. And yes, let's get into a time lapse. I can't wait to build this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And here we are guys in front of the two new builds that I've done for the end of the episode. These are fantastic. I love them so much. They're so basic. Um, let's have a look inside because there is no inside. They are just boxes. This, this is going to be done off camera because as, as you all know already, interiors are my worst enemy. 
and I can't do them to save my life. So I'm going to go <laughs> and look for some inspiration and I'll do them off camera. But that is the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you're not subscribed already, go click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao.